Today it's time for a Retro Masculine Birthday Card. Hello, welcome back. I'm here with Alan Hudson today and we're all celebrating the new Waffle Flower Crafts release for February, March 2020 and I've got this awesome die. It's a rainbow birthday die. And what a great way to use your scraps. So that's what I did. I went into my scraps and I chose some fun sort of retro colors because this die just screams retro to me. And I really, really needed to work on some masculine cards for my stash. And this was the perfect opportunity. Really simple, quick, came together. And you can make it, you end up with so many extra bits. Because <laughs> as you pass it through the die cutting machine, it cuts out all the pieces of the rainbow and also the sentiment. So it's as simple as jigsaw puzzling them back together. So I did run the rainbow portion, the one with all the layers through my Gemini. And I did use my metal shim because it is quite a big sandwich. And look at these great colors together. The die also comes with another set of dies, like a solid die as like a solid base die and another within layer, like a wider layer. So you can actually mix and match it up and get so many different looks. You can cut a window and make a shaker. You can have less layers. You can have more layers. It is really versatile. You can just use the happy birthday sentiment on its own. You don't actually need to use it in the rainbow, but doesn't it look amazing? So I used the base color. When I did that, I chose the same color as what was going to be on the outside of my rainbow. I figured if there's a little bit sort of hanging over the edge, no one's ever going to know. And I added adhesive all over the front. You could either use a liquid glue, which is probably going to be a little bit more forgiving. But I, I found this adhesive, even though it's a really strong hold, I didn't have any trouble with my cardstock sort of going out of shape. It all just pieced together perfectly. And for me, I needed to work from the outside in because I didn't know where the centerpiece was going to be exactly. <laughs> so it just made sense. To be honest, I couldn't remember what order I had my initial colors in. So I just went with it and I I think that the orange looked really great in the center because it was so bright. I initially was going to do my happy birthday in the black, you may have noticed, but I thought while I was die cutting, I might as well die cut a white too. And while I was playing and putting it all together, I thought the white was going to be a better option and look mm, happier, maybe. Is that what you call it? So here is one tip though that I will give you is to be really, really careful. Some of these tiny little inlay portions are tiny. And to be honest, I did lose <laughs> two of the little tiny blue pieces. So I just die cut the sections that I needed again and stopped searching for them. I searched forever. So I knew I wanted this to be very clean and simple because I really like to make my masculine cards clean and simple and really bright and fun in general terms that's how I like to make them so I thought I'd add a couple of balloons this is also a waffle flower crafts set it's an older set called limo ride and a really fun one and I stamped it with some memento tuxedo black and did some really simple coloring with my Copic markers and I chose colors that I'd use within the die cuts and kept that retro theme. So this is one of the medium sized dies, but what I'm using it here for is actually to support my die cut. It's a fairly solid die cut, but I did want to make it pop it up on the front of my card and don't want it to bend in the post because I know I'm going to be posting this card. So often I'll do that with a second um, die cut. That's a little tip. Here's the tip. <laughs> Add another layer of paper behind your paper to make it more solider. <laughs> and then I just pop that up on the front of a side fold landscape card. 
and I did have to actually add a thin foam square to the balloons so because this other die was like two layers of cardstock thick it just that just helped pop it up to be even with the rest of it so don't forget to hop along you can find the links at my blog and that'll be linked in the description below there's lots more inspiration from the Alan Hudson team and I'll link everybody's post there if you like this video please click on the thumbs up button to let me know that you did and if you haven't already I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and I'll see you back here again real soon till next time happy paper crafting bye